Okay, here we are. Um, this is the first screencast, and this is f basically for beginners who don't know what they're looking at when they, uh, if you're looking at a chart and you have no idea what anything is, uh, I'm going to go over stuff for that. So if you already know the basics, um, you can skip this and go to the next one. Um, but right now, first of all, uh, I'm going to go to the internet. Um, I use blanksheetmusic.net. Um, it's a free service, but this first sheet here is the one I use. It's the most standard. It's got your five lines, five spaces, and uh, it's filled with staves, which are the, this line here is a stave. So um, if you want, pause now and go print out your sheet music. Uh, or you, there's lots of other services too. All, all you have to do is do a Google search on sheet music, printable sheet music, staff paper, what have you. So I've got something set up here in Sibelius. Um, as you can see, it's already formatted where the staff starts down here, about you know a quarter of the way down. Um, if you're printing out sheet music, your staff's going to start way up here. Um, so don't worry about that because when you're shorthanding and, and just writing a chart, just throw the title you know, through one of the staffs in bold letters. Doesn't matter. And then what you'll do is you just skip a couple staves and then just start wherever you want. Pick one that you want to start on. Uh, and that's where we'll begin. Um, right here, um, yeah, so this will be the title of your song. Um, and over here, we'll put, you know, who who wrote the song. You always want to give credit for the person who writes the song, even though you're charting it. That's not for the person who's charting the song. That's th for the person who writes the song. Um, okay, so let's, let's look at what we have here. You're going to see all these little symbols here on the left. This, you don't have to worry about so much. But let's look at it. This is a treble clef symbol. It means all the instruments that read a treble clef, uh, this will be good for if you end up writing music notes, which we're not going to do right now. Um, this 4-4 four four, um, basically tells us that each measure or box that we're going to create or draw in is going to have four beats in them. And we'll do that systematically. And if that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Um, this is a stave, S-T-A-V-E, or you can and call it the staff. But each line, stave one, stave two, three, four, five, six. So you can count the staves just by that. Normally, we're looking at little lines, boom, boom, that separate the staves into measures. And measures um, are the little boxes that hold our four beat counts. So one, two, three, four, 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 all the way through the chart. We're counting to four over and over and over again. Um, and that's basically how we get started. That's what you're looking at on your staff paper right now. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on and I'm going to start writing a chart and filling in the blanks and explaining what's happening um, as we do it. All right. Thanks for watching.